Hello guys, so today we're going to create this simple alarm application. So this uh, video is about uh, creating a uh, small design systems, uh, small apps. So I'm going to show you the process on how to create it from start to finish. So this is the first process of it. Um, this is some kind of flowchart. So these are the screens that we need, all that we need. So first we have the alarm dashboard. So the this is the first load. So it will just prompt the user to, hey, you don't have anything here. So you need to add an alarm there. And then the user taps to add an alarm. So for add an alarm, we have the AM, the alarm picker, AM, PM, we have the 12 hour format, and what are the days that the, the, that the alarm would like trigger, right? And then on the settings side, we'll have the alarm type, which is the type of melody of it. So you can pick uh, what uh, what MP4 or, or sound it will produce on your phone. So, so and the volume of it, and uh, if it is if the vibration is on or not. I think we can add here if it is activated or not. And then we'll go back to the alarm dashboard. So we need to populate these items. So we'll show the populated states where we have created alarms on it. So we'll have the alarm times, the days for that alarm that triggers and the activation of it if it is on or not. We can have a drag, drag to side for deleting the alarm and we'll have tap to edit if you tap the alarm it will edit it and we'll have one sample which is detached to all of this flow which is this new sample where what will the alarm look like on the like the screen when the screen is locked and you need to tap the snooze button i think all of this is is clear enough for us to start the application designing the application
So this is the final design that I've created. Um, the user flow actually helps me out, actually. So the first thing is the alarm dashboard. This is the alarm dashboard when I first created the alarm. And then the add alarm screen. And after that, we have the alarm sounds where you can choose your alarm sounds. And then we'll go back to the populated dashboard. And we have a, slides, a slide here where if it slides, it will be, it will drag the side fully. It will be deleted and our, what you call, hmm, snooze sample for the home screen page. So those are the first screens. And here is the animation for it. As you can see here, it seems, that, seems like the clock is moving, but it's not actually. <laughs> And then we'll have the first alarm here, and you click, after click, it will do that animation. And then we'll choose a alarm sound, like that. We'll try to play it, and the alarm, and the alarm sound will try to play. And then we we'll just tap on done, or back. After that, we go back to the populated to the alarm screen, and if we click the check mark, we'll go to the populated screen. Do that any kind of animation, and we have to drag. You can see here a drag animation here. If we go fully to this and then release our mouse, it will do that kind of animation. And the last part is wait, and the last part is just clicking this, and then we will just show then automatically the if the screensaver is on this will just show on your screen so that's the presentation of it so i'm gonna break down the animation for you so firstly what we did here is we just moved the boxes here to the side and then the text we just changed the text to 5 to 530 like that and we have moved this to down a bit and back to the original original on it. And then, so all of these three are just what we call linear animations. So linear animations is another term for instant animations. So it's another term for frame by frame animation. So one first frame, second frame, third frame. So there's no like in between. So as you can see there. There's no in between there. So when I tap it here, we'll have there a uh, smart anime custom animation, which will just press the button like that. Again, I'm gonna do it, just press the button. Here's the curve for it. So I've also like minimized this thing. And then we also have some opaque layers here. Like this first layer is opaque here, like this, on this side, so that it will like move fluently. See? It is opaque there. So it will move up to this position and it will show. And then another opaque layer on the top for the navigations of it, like that. It will move down, going there. So let's see that again. I'll click it. See, it moves down here and moves up there. And then for this side, we have animated it as the same as the previous one, but without the top animation. So it's just like that, going up. So the opaque layer is here. There we go, move up. And then this is just a, so all of those two are easy in animations, just so you know. Uh, here, I just, just check it again. It's an easy enough you know, 300 millisecond. So the next one is just a click. When you click, it will instantly animate to this. So it's just like that. It was instantly to change another frame animation frame by frame animation and the next is if I tap on done it will just go back there instantly so I don't I don't want to have it animate again if I click done 
And then after this, I'm going to hit the check. It will show the dashboard now. Now the dashboard has been changed. It has all these populated alarms. And the, the changes are like this. It has no time there now. And it has all the alarms there. So you can have, so you sacrifice the time, the natural time of it. And then you will have the alarms there if it is populated. So the next part is the on drag animation. So on here, we have grouped these layers. And then we have, on the next frame, we have created a layer that is called delete with a square on it. So if we move it like that, it will show the delete button. So that's an on drag with an ease in of 200 milliseconds. Move it like that. So after this, after this animation, it is, it is an after delay animation, so it moves automatically. So after one millisecond delay, the, it will ease in to this moving to here. So I move all the layers, this, this, these layers to the side. It's now in the side. So it will go like this. And this, and after it, is, it has been moved to the side, I have smart animated again, this layer to that layer. With an after day one millisecond after it moves to the side, it will move this thing will move out. Like that. I just show it again. Side and it will move up. And after that, if I tap this one, it will deactivate and just show this thing. So I really have to edit this a bit, uh five hundred, like that. So you can see here. After that, click here, and after 500 millisecond, uh, half a second, it will show the screensaver. Like that. So that's it for the breakdown of animation. So I hope you have liked this Figma video for now. Um, this is a more like structured video that I I'm planning to do. It is like showing you how to create first by flow, and after that designing it and then after that animating it so we're like uh, training ourselves in making like small uh, application applications small finish applications for you to get started on your first mobile designs so all of the figma files are in the description down below if you want to download them if you want to like duplicate them and explore feel free to do so i'll just and also the fonts for this one i just have to actually provide you fonts. It's just a 8-bit wonder. 8-bit wonder. It is from the font. I'll just paste it here. Also, I will also provide it on the description, I think, so that you won't be like uh, scouring around for the font. So that's it. I hope you found this like uh, overview of uh, how to create like small applications design applications from scratch and I hope you have liked this video if you don't uh, so you know what to do and please share it to your friends it helps a lot to the channel subscribe to my channel for other UI stuffs and see you soon so have a great day and have a good one